Yeah, buddy. I have a quick one for you. Oh, wait a minute. I, gotta, I no longer represent. So, look. Here's a quick one for you. Now, somebody asked me what would I do if I became a partner. What would I change? Well, apparently you can't cuss. Apparently you can't do certain things. But if I was a partner, I'd ask for my own category. I'd ask for a blocker. I'd ask for people to have to prove their age or whatever via, you know, email or whatever. Then, some other stuff like that in order to get to my channel. In other words, you just can't say you're 18 and click the button. Because I asked my son, what are you doing? He says, I'm making myself a new um, YouTube account. I'm like, uh-huh. And I looked, I said, oh, so you're 25 years old today, huh? He says, wow, and he smiled. I shook my head. I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. but I can't really dwell too much on how I discipline my son, so that's my business. Let me go on to the next chapter of what I'm going to say right here. Now, the name of this video is Be My Partner. Now, I was doing the math, and I said to myself, Damn! Is that it, AIX? Is that all you got? Based on the numbers that Soldier Boy bragged about in his video, how much he gets per view and how much he gets per comment or what have you. Now, I don't know if the rate fluctuates based on popularity. In other words, if he said he gets X amount of cents per view, I don't think they're going to get that to the same people, but uh, please, if I was to be a partner, I would have to at least get that much. And um, to be honest with you, the numbers he said wasn't that good, but he gets the hits. So let me explain something. I don't know if, if I said exactly how much he said on this video, so I want you to do the math. Okay? Based on videos that you have done already, you know, just say, based on the videos you did last week, all of your videos, every 10 of them or 5 of them or 2 of them or 25 of them, um, based on hits. So based on how many times your video was viewed, go ahead and give yourself, let me make, I'm just going to make up a number in my head, 1.5 cents for every time somebody looked at your video. 1.5 cents. And then give yourself two cents per every comment left on all your videos. And then give yourself five cents for video responses. I'm just going to just throw that in there. You probably don't get shit for video responses, but just say five cents for video responses. They wouldn't do that. But um, add it up. And will you be my partner? <laughs> Figure it out. That right there is your something new to think about. Now, a friend of mine, you know, just said recently, Let's talk about making money. So, I want to vow to him for the next 30 days. All I will talk about is ways to make money. And this is for everybody to benefit off of. See, to be a giving person is to be very generous. To be a needy person is to want a hell of a lot more than you're willing to give. Stretch my arm out. So, liberation man, that's what I call you. I put forth a challenge to everybody on YouTube to talk about one subject. 
I already put out my first video about this subject. It's called We Need a Fix. And in that video, I pretty much detail a challenge for everybody to talk about how we can fix the economy openly and what would give people jobs and ideas. Give them up. Let's stop being greedy and wanting it all. When everybody's doing good, we all do better. When everybody's doing better, we'll all feel good. When we can walk down the street and look at somebody and say, man, I don't feel like working today. That's when we've all achieved. But instead, we'll put a hazmat suit on and run through a damn building with wild chemicals for $8.75 an hour. And then when you get out of that haze and all that funk, they tell your employer that, you know what, you're going to have to get him some medical. Then your employer says, man, I can't afford no medical. And then people get laid off and fired. Is it true? Ah, well, let's stop talking about that stuff. But, like the man said, for the next 30 days, let's only talk about making money. Um, what did that girl Mary J. Blige used to always say? And damn the 90 some percent of her records, she used to always say, no more drama. Back in the day, she had some of the most drama-filled records out there. No more tears. No more pain. No more drama. It's time to put money into people's hands. Now, if these big corporations out there are hearing these ideas and shit, I said it. It's time for you motherfuckers to lay some robots off. Wally should be getting the day off. It's time to put people back to work. It's time to stop squeezing people for a dollar a dime. Oh, healthcare. Healthcare is an industry. Healthcare should not even be a factor. Healthcare should be a, a right. It's an industry. We can make money off sick people. Shit, sick people make other people sick. That's stupid. The more people alive and well, the more money can flourish. Fuck healthcare. It should be free anyway. No charge to the healthcare providers, no charge to the healthcare recipients. I need drugs. Here. Give the drugs to the people, make them well. Charging a nickel and dime for it. For what? Petroleum companies still get rich. See, I went politics. I said it's time to make money. Cure America. And America gets well. Use people's brains to figure out. Don't dissect the brain. Actually take it out the head and fuck with it. But use their brains. Let Americans figure this shit out. The 10 people, 15 people figuring this shit out, you can figure it out for you and your friends, but you cannot figure it out for me and mine. Oh, see? Once again, I get lost on the video and find myself rambling on about trying to make the world a better place. Who do I think I am? Martin Luther Lonzo or something? You've been tubed.